Hello, super user. So today is just a quick challenge, and if you've been curious why I haven't posted much this week, that's because I'm working on a longer video to really review Note Performer, which should hopefully come out tomorrow. Not 100% sure, but that is my plan. At the very least, it'll come out over the weekend. So today's challenge is how many different ways can you copy and paste in Finale? Of course, there's the obvious way of Controller Command C to Controller Command V. You can also find this over Edit copy and paste, but there are other ways you can copy and paste in Finale. For instance, if you go into the JW plugins, there is one called Pattern Copy, where I can Pattern Copy Set Source, and then I can Pattern Copy Create, and it automatically copies the rhythm into the new note. So I've counted up at least eight different ways to copy and paste uh, in just like the last minute or so. I'm guessing there's probably close to 12 or 14 different ways to copy and paste things in Finale. So if you want to enter the challenge, just write all your answers in the comments below and I will give a shout out to whoever has the most answers, the most different ways you can copy and paste in Finale. The answer video will come out on Tuesday of next week, so you have until then to figure out all the different ways to copy and paste in Finale and comment them in the video description. And one quick thing before ending the video, uh, some of you know this, but others of you don't. I have started a blog, uh, which is basically covering a lot of the different things in the Finale Super User channel, but in blog form. Uh, it's meant to be the easiest thing you could possibly read for Finale with very clear instructions, videos when I have them like this one, and GIFs in case you want to see the actual process of what the instructions are, but you don't actually want to go through and watch an entire video. There's multiple steps broken down. It's meant to be very easy to scan and even search if you want to search things. And this is the second blog post. The first one is how to do non-standard tuplets in Finale, one of the most popular videos on this channel. And again, the exact same format video, very, very clear instructions with GIFs that show you exactly what you need to do, as well as multiple methods because everyone has their own unique workflow. And for these things like it, with speedy entry, it'll even show you the keyboard if it's all based on keyboard shortcuts. So that's it for today's video. If you found it at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss out on any of those, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.